say if they say if we'll only avoid avoid any confrontation with the enemy, he'll forget his evil ways and learn to love it. All right, so this is TC Thief, and I'm here with TC Meat, and this is another Rage Brothers broadcast. This is like kind of going to be a special edition, um, apart from our Rage Brothers episodes. I guess this is going to be episodes all in itself because there's going to be several episodes talking about defeating the AA when you're in the attack or dogfighter plane, right? Uh, we're not going to really include bombers because uh, the bombers can pretty much ignore the AAs and go heal themselves or repair themselves uh, away from, you know, the AAs. They could pretty much fly right over them and the bombers have so much health that it, it really really doesn't matter but uh so the first thing we're gonna talk about is uh the sinai desert and this is going to be the first map that we address and we're going to address the aa positions because the biggest thing uh in defeating the aas is knowing where they are at so right now we're looking at a uh a, what is it a clip or a a screenshot of sinai desert um you can see Sinai Desert. This is pretty much from the British side. Uh, I didn't take it from the Ottoman side. Uh, I kind of uh, edited it in paint. But uh, the biggest thing uh, to avoiding or to defeating these AAs is knowing where the AA is at. And uh, this is such a huge thing because if you know where the AA is at and you know where it's active, you can stay away from it or you can LOS it and, uh, you know, drop your lawn darts on it to uh, to kill it. Um, you you probably have to in? clarify what LOS is since probably not oh. everyone's a MMO people. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot. A LOS is definitely an MMO term. Uh, LOS stands for line of sighting. Um, it's really big in uh, MMO games because if you line of sight the other player, they can't cast. Um, this goes the same for, I guess, first-person shooter. If you if you line of sight the AA, there's no way for it to see you and no way for it to actually know you're there. So the best way is to line of sight it, sneak up on it, and, you know, drop your bombs on it um, before they know you're there. So, I mean, anything to add? Yeah, uh, it looks like you're getting your ass kicked in this game. What the fuck? Anyways, um, we're going to go and talk about all the positions and where they're at. We're going to show you, like, fans and basically the range at which they can hit you at. And we're going to talk a little bit about the AA trucks, but uh, obviously you're going to have to just view where, see where they're at on the map. That's not going to be something that's dynamic. You know, we can't talk about specifics for that. Yeah. So, so the biggest thing is, uh, so the range of the AAs. All right. The 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 mobile AA, the range on it. I've tested this myself, so I know in fact what the range is. It's 460 meters till the time it explodes. All right, uh, that's uh, travel distance, and you got to remember that straight line distance when you're talking. Um, if you're in the air, you know the the distance is going to diminish uh, a little bit because of like geometry and stuff. You know, the sphere uh, is, it'll it'll get closer to the it's trigonometry. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, it doesn't matter. Maybe, maybe trigonometry. Uh, some, I didn't, math, I, some math or something. <laughs> I, I didn't do very good in geography in school, so um, <laughs> geography yeah, geology is hard, man. I don't get it. <laughs> yeah. God, I love that joke. It never gets old. But uh, yeah, so um, I haven't confirmed this myself, and we can confirm this later on in videos, but uh, the patch notes says that the range for the static AAs is, what, 360 or 375 meters? Yeah, I believe it was nerfed from 400 to somewhere in the 360, 75 area. doesn't matter. It was definitely nerfed. We'll get the hard number later. Okay, so that's our given distance for the static AAs. This is totally not taking in the mobile AA to account. The mobile AA is fucking pesky as fuck, man. The best thing to do is if the mobile AA comes up, let your team know. Or if you're in team speak with somebody uh, that's in a tank and say, hey, go get that mobile AA. Because that... Um, I've I've get I've gotten in the mobile AA just because I can't get in a plane and they are just devastating because they go so fast they can move everywhere on the map and the distance is like it's so much more it's over a hundred meters more that you can shoot with the mobile AA and it's 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 in desperate need of a nerf right now it's just so overpowered but uh so moving on to clip two yeah, one so one thing to to note on that you're only seeing a you know it does take a tank slot so that's a good thing 
So if it's spawns if it spawns specifically, you know, you'd have to worry about it all the time. But since you have to actually select that vehicle, it kind of helps out the pilots because they have to select the AA over a tank, and a tank usually is going to be more beneficial than a fucking AA truck. Yeah, definitely. So um, we're gonna move on to clip two. Clip two is gonna be real quick. Um, once again, um. So the AAs are located at C, D, and G. I made this uh, little uh, screenshot before I had spoken to Mark, and uh, I knew this, but uh, I didn't really think about it at the time. I was doing my handy dandy, uh, you know, edit and paint where I got these uh, clips together. But uh, the AA at G, the static AA at G, there's two of them, and uh, one can be permanently disabled, the other can be uh, disabled for a set amount of time, but there's also, uh, you can see at G, there's like an AA, like off in Narnia, it's on top of the hill, um, there's also a static AA on top of the roof at G, which their fans, uh, they're not going to change that much. The only thing is if two people are on the AA and you fly over G, you're it's pretty much curtains for you. you like, you're like you not going to live through it, especially if you're in the dogfighter. I mean, there's... Yeah. Like, if there's an AA at G, I generally just avoid it because there's no cover coming in. You know, like there's no buildings or mountains or anything in the way. So if it's at G, if it a is up at G, I just generally don't fly over there, you know? Yeah, but the big thing about G is you start off with three planes per side. So typically a, some pleb and a bomber will spawn a bomber and he'll fly around by himself. So but, you mean uh, a taxi? <laughs> yeah. If, if they don't use the attack plane as a taxi to get to, you know, A from the Ottoman Empire, uh, they'll typically spawn around in a bomber and, you know, be by themselves. And if somebody's not up on the bomber with, you know, a uh, a bomber killer or airship killer with the attack plane, like that bomber is going to stay up forever if he's a decent player, pilot because just the AAs don't do enough damage to the bomber or the bomber has so much health that it just flies away and it repairs itself. But... The big thing to be noted about G, once again, I got off on a tangent, is that it spawns another plane. So it gives you an additional aircraft, you know, be a bomber or attack plane or, or a dogfighter. So uh, that's the good thing for owning G. But typically you have to, you can fly around and cap it. Mark's posted videos of where he flies around and caps it in the plane. But uh, you're not going to be able to do that if they're in the AA, so... Yeah, I love I love having G because of that extra plane. It, I mean, you can air superiority, you know, just destroy people. But yeah, definitely. So moving on to clip three. Clip three is going to be uh, the ranges to the AAs from the British uh, side. Uh, you have uh, the CAA, and this is uh, where I spawned. Um, as a sniper in the base, um, it's approximately 588 meters from the base. Um, D is uh, 562 meters, and G is going to be 535 meters. And remember that, once again, there's two AAs at, at uh, G, so um, the, the distance, straight line distance, is going to be a little bit reduced for that closer AA. But uh, one thing I didn't cover is... Uh, that AA, it's on top of a building. So if you get there early, um, you can put some like landmines on it or, you know, C4 or whatever they call it, dynamite, and you can blow up the building so the AA permanently won't respawn there. And uh, one of the things to take note here is also it's 625 meters from C to G. Yeah, definitely. Move on to the next picture. All right. All right. Yeah, moving on to now. This is the Ottoman Empire. All right. Um, you can see that uh, I I didn't want to go back into a server and take another picture. So once again, um, these that's approximately in the picture. But um, I once again took it from where I spawned as a sniper. So uh, from where I spawned as a sniper, um, the CAA is 655 meters away. The DAA is 532 meters away, and the GAA is 553 meters away. So those those are your distance. That gives you a pretty good idea. Remember straight line distance the AA has approximately 360 to 375 
five meters where it it can kill you. So uh, those are the things to watch out for. Yep. All right. So let's move on to the next picture. Yes, which is the fans, which I think is the kind of the meat and potatoes or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, so definitely uh, the this this clip or this uh, screenshot I uh, kind of edited in Paint once again, and uh, I took uh, and and this is all proximate. That's what to keep in mind. But this gives you a pretty idea of the superiority that the AAs offer uh, in reference to their ranges. Um, you can see right down the middle, the entire middle of the map. If the enemy team owns those three bases like pretty much they're going to control the air but the good thing about the aas is you can destroy them so if you get your team um to destroy the aas like with uh, a heavy tank if you got a a partner in a heavy tank and you tell them hey you know go destroy the aas um when me and mark are in the dogfighters there's no reason to have the aa on the ground because together i don't think there's any pilot in the game right now that can take both of us together um i mean we're not that good of pilots but combine we're we're like captain planet man their their powers combined you know fucking yeah. we can, we can, we can, we can are fuck. you heart or are you wind or fire <laughs> i one? think i think of fire i like fire. i want to be the little monkey what is that <laughs> oh. I don't know. I think we're talking way above our audience's head. Because yeah, that's like, true. <laughs> this is like, shit like 30 like... years ago, man. <laughs> yeah. But, Anyways, uh... Uh, keep in mind on these circles that these are just circles drawn on a map. It's actually more like a, you know, a half a half moon. So, like, you can be inside the circle and still be out of AA range because you're high enough up in the air. You know what I mean? Well, it wouldn't be a moon because of the, the moon is like an elliptical obloid, is it? Whoa, the moon is, is semi-spherical or basically a sphere, you know? Yeah. So it'd be a half moon. That's why I said a half moon. Anyways, whatever. <laughs> God, I like science. Science is cool. Yeah. Anyways, but you can be inside the circle and above the range of the A because you're far enough away. So. Yeah. Because the I, ceiling on the map is higher than whatever. Yeah, you know what we haven't tested yet that I... But you know what sucks is that the, these goddamn planes don't have altimeters in them. So you don't you have no idea how fast you're going. You have no idea how high you are. You're just... You can see the AA, like, exploding. So you know it's... Uh, you're out of range. Yeah, you're, you know you're there. Yeah, definitely. But I, I just want to say a, a few things about this AA before we end this, uh, before we end this video. But uh, the AAs are fucking in desperate need of nerfs, man. Against the dogfighter, like let's the not AA... let's not swing that far and and be bitching so much that uh, to me, I don't know. I, I think they're very strong. I. I, for one, wish that your friendly AAs didn't move you around in the sky. I yes. wish the enemy AA didn't move you around or pull you in a certain direction. I think that's completely stupid. So this is my three things, all right? The AA does three things to you. It damages you. It um, moves you in the sky, which it like puts you out of control. And the AA's range, all right? One of those three things needs to be uh reeled in needs to be back off backed off so if they reduce the dra uh the damage a little bit i would be happy if they reduce the range somewhat i would be happy or if they drastically reduce the amount that it um that it like jostles you in the air or it moves you around in the air because like when you start getting hit by the a there's no way to control it and that's that to me that in my opinion um, there's, there's ways to control aircraft on the map and, you know, it shouldn't be so overpowered that you fly over it once and you just fucking zero, a hundred to zero and dead. You know what I mean? And I'm not I'm really not bitching really... at this, but this is like, this is like constructive criticism to, you know, whoever, uh, the powers that be that, yeah, you know, make yeah, these adjustments. Just... I just feel like we can get, we can get flamed for this, for being just bitching about the A, um, one thing I wanted to to point out is, or anyways, I lo completely lost my train of thought, but I had a very a very uh, valid point. So, <laughs> so you need to talk for a second so I can think about it. Do you want me to say what I just said over again, and then maybe it'll come back to you? Oh, you know, you know what? 
it did come back to me. So the way I see in the balance aspect of the play counterplay, I don't actually see the AA as a counter to the plane, even though I guess that's kind of the idea. I see it as a deterrent to the plane. So if you're on D, just sitting in the AA, your job as the AA is not really to take the plane down. It's just to make it go away. The, the true counter to the plane for me is another plane. So like I feel like that stuff right is the planes taking each other out, whereas the AA just kind of keeps cover over the area so that yeah. you're not getting bombed on. You know, at least that's the way I see it. Well, you got into it uh, like the uh, in some of the other videos. I think episode three we talked about planes that um, there was a way to combat the AA uh, always w when you were in the plane, like um, the. In Battlefield 3, the AA couldn't just shellac you in, you know, when you were in the chopper. Um, it would do damage to you, but it would overheat long before you, you know, went from 100 to 0 in health. Um, but if you were at 20 health and you were, like, right over the base, like, you were going to die. And you should die because you're stupid. What are you doing over the base, you know, with 20% health? You should be back in your base trying to repair or whatnot. But right, right yeah. now, it just... It just shellacks you, man. Like it, it, I don't think it should do that. Like, like the only way to take it out is to drop bombs on it. You're going to be in range of it if you drop bombs on it. In previous versions of Battlefield, you always had some kind of distance weapon to take it out with, whether that be TV-guided missiles or, or what have you. In Battlefield 4, they, or Battlefield 2, they had the TV-guided missiles, 2142 TV-guided missiles too. But in this game, you, you don't have that. So you basically have to play on the fact that the person in the AA is a complete fucking moron and he's not going to find you and you've got to sneak up on him. Yeah, but, pretty much. You know. Which... In the last couple weeks of flying the attack planes, I say that we've gotten pretty good at to some extent on some maps. On other maps, the uh, the AA is really fucking overpowering. It makes absolutely no sense how they set the map up. Like, uh, wh what's the map? The the the, you know the worst example is uh, I think it's Mont Monte Grappa or Mont Grappa or whatever. It's like literally three on top of each other at D E uh, D and E. Well, so it's not even that. Um, is Monte Grappa the one in the canyon with the uh, the with the airship? No, you know what I was thinking of Empire's Empire's Edge. The, sure. You know, with C and D on the very top, it's the top of the the mountain, and then you have E down in the water. Yeah. yeah. So, so which whichever map that we're talking about, I'll I'll go back over. Uh, I, I'll actually post text on the screen when I edit this video, so I can let you guys know what map we're talking about. But on the very top of the mountain, you have B and D, which has oh, yeah. an A. Yeah, that's Empire. That's uh, that's Mount Grappa, I think. So Monte Grappa, all right, we'll, we'll just assume it's Monte Grappa. So B and D has an AA on it, which is, depending on what team has it, it you know, it should belong to them, although somebody else can get on it if the, you know, if the if the point doesn't belong to them. So you have an AA at B, you have an AA at D, you also have an AA at E, and then you have two inside uh, one base, and then you also have an AA at A and two inside the opposite base. So you have two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, nine AAs. I, I don't know if I did math very good, but that's that is utterly ridiculous to have nine static AAs on a map. And that's not even taking into consideration if some pleb spawns a freaking, you know, static AA and is just driving around just to be, yeah, you know, yeah. Or, yes. Yeah, mobile yeah. A, excuse me. But, uh, yeah. But, uh, yeah. yeah. but you, we seriously need to go back and look at the range fan for this, um, or the fan for the one I was talking about, Empire's Edge. It's literally three circles stacked on top of each other. The, the It's probably 75 meters from one AA to the other and 100 to the other one. So yeah. it's like a try. It's, it's the worst. It's the worst area on a map. And there's, in that one, there's one at G, one at F, uh, there's not one at C, but there's one at B, A, and then two in the two in each base. It's it's ridiculous. I can't ever remember a Battlefield game that had this many AAs. Yeah, definitely. Um, 
so I'd say the next episode we're gonna do the really shitty map, whatever it's called, and then we're gonna we're gonna do the map that you said just so just so we can show you know people how ridiculous this map is. This map supposedly is supposed to be an air map because it has each point B and D both spawn an additional aircraft when you get them, and then I'm pretty sure your base spawns three aircraft. So. As a whole, you can get five aircraft if you can control all the right points. And if, I mean, there's no other way to say it. Five aircraft in one map is an air map. You know what I mean? And just to have nine AAs in a map, that's it's just uncalled for. Yeah, I'm. I'm sure we're gonna get flamed, but I'm not sure if this is valid bitching or not. Is is bitching about too many AAs? legitimate or is it not legitimate you know because it, once again like i said the aa is not your only defense and to me it's not even your primary defense for taking out planes other planes are so uh, that's just the way i see it though you know? yeah definitely so we're gonna we're gonna wrap this up so once again this is tc thief um uh, Rage Brothers special edition broadcast on how to defeat the AA starting off with Sinai. All right. Um, so once again, like, subscribe, comment, you know, flame us, do whatever you want. Um, tell us what you want to see because uh, we'd really like to know what viewers want. This is just me making assumptions, but uh, uh, I fly the plane a lot. So I assume that this is what the viewers want to see, um, you know, how to defeat the AA because the AA really, really freaking annoys me. So I'm, I'm assuming that this is what maybe some of the viewers that watch our stuff wants. Um, if not, make some suggestions in the comment. I'm definitely down to do whatever all, um, you know, I think my least favorite thing is to run medic. If you guys want me to run medic and, you know, play as a medic, I'll definitely do that. Um, once again, TC thief, uh, Oh, speaking my... of that, oh sorry, oh. go. Well, actually, no. Speaking of you playing medic, I just got my medic thing last night. My medic medal last night. That was the most frustrating thing ever. Getting twenty fucking grenade rocket uh, rifle grenade kills. That was fucking annoying. <laughs> what? Why is the rifle grenade so <laughs> terrible, <laughs> dude? It's dude, just, you got like... to. So I was trying to use the frag one, and that shit bounces off and rolls away, and you're like, "What the fuck?" So I use the he one. It doesn't do as much damage but it instant it, blo it blows up on impact so you just fire all three at a target and you'll get kills so this is what i don't understand i used to love playing the medic class the medic class has always been the class to be in battlefields as far back as i could remember because the assault rifles were so good they had you know 203 320 grenade launchers uh they couldn't you know um they couldn't resupply their self, but you sit on a box of ammo, you just spam, you know, two or threes and just get massive amount of kills. Like, it goes from being such a good class with guns like the AN-94, man. The AN-94 used to rock in Battlefield 3 and, and Bad Company 2. Remember how fucking bad the AN-94 used to raid people in yeah, Bad dude, Company 2? Yeah, was awesome. Yeah. Anyways, then, we, before we get too long in tangents and rabbit holes and shit, we should probably finish signing off, right? Yeah, so you say your piece. I had, yeah, one more thing to add, or two more things to add, no, three, four, whatever. Anyways, uh, yeah, I'm TC Meat. Um, you hit me up on Twitter at CatLikeThief. And also, before anyone asks, you've probably seen my other video if you're watching this video. Um, I use a mouse and keyboard. I don't use a joystick. I get asked that in-game. How the fuck are you turning so fast, or how are you doing whatever? And as a caveat, I'm not really that good. So, anyways... Well, I mean, we're at a point right now where we haven't found really the the real um the sweet spot in the turning speed. So okay, this is the last thirty seconds and I, I swear I'll sign off this time. In battlefields since as long back as I can remember, um there's always been a sweet spot for the jet, for you know, the aircraft aircraft where it turns the fastest and you can get into doing like big o's little o's in, in the sky and doing like corkscrews and stuff and there is an optimal speed to turn the aircraft wet i i don't know if mark's found it yet i haven't find it yet found it yet i've been experimenting with it and i found like in some situations the plane turns faster than the other but it, it's all about feeling it up and as we go along we'll I, we'll we'll you know talk about uh turning in the plane but the 
shittiest thing is, there's fucking no way to know how fast you're going. There's no <laughs> gauges. There's no compass. There's no nothing. There's just a big giant fucking bi wing in your way that you can't see shit. So yeah, it's fuck, awesome, right? Fuck you, dice. Why did you? Why did you obstruct my field of view? Because I can't see shit. Yeah, that's fucking funny though. A anyways, all right. Let's let's finish this up. Give you a yeah, piece. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. At TC Thief is my Twitter and uh, twitch.tv forward slash TC Thief. You can see me stream. Um, also, uh, I thinking about streaming from YouTube, but the thing is I got like a uh, constant viewer base from Twitch. Even if it is just 10 to 20 people for Battlefield, it's more like 70 to 80 people for SWOTOR uh, when I was playing. But uh, definitely hit me up. Tell me if you want me to stream on YouTube or Mark to stream on YouTube. But anyway, TC Thief, TC Meat, signing off. And they say if they say if we'll only avoid, avoid any confrontation with the enemy, he'll forget his evil ways and learn to love it.